Hi, this is Steve Westmark, Council Realty. Thanks so much for watching my video blog this week. I'm going to give you an update on the statistics of what's happened in the month of January and kind of give you an idea of where the marketplace is going. Very, very positive things are happening in our marketplace in the Twin Cities. And here are a few graphs to look at. One is the area of pending sales. Our pending sales over the last 90 days are up by 27.3% compared to last year at this time. The next graph will show you where the pending sales have increased, but the greatest increase in our pending sales by over 50% is under the 120,000 marketplace. So if you have a home in the 120,000 price range or less, there's lots more sales going on there where all the other price ranges seem to be about the same in the year prior. The next graph I want to show you is the inventory of homes. This is another positive indicator. In fact, these two indicators have not come together in this type of situation since 2005. So our inventory right now is down, as you can see, by 22% and has been over the last three months significantly less as far as homes for sale. The next chart shows you what that means for buyers that are out looking in the marketplace. If you look back in January of 2010, we had a 5.8 month amount of inventory of homes for sale. There were enough homes for sale that would last with the amount of buyers coming through for 5.8. Last year in 2011, we were at 7.2. Now, this year, we're at 4.6. The industry tells us that we're in about a balanced real estate market when we have about a four to five month inventory, and if we have a two to three month inventory, we'll be back into a seller's market. So in the past, we've been more in the buyer's market. We are now more in what we would call a balanced real estate market in the Twin Cities. The next graph I want you to just look at is what's happened in the median sale price. Even though the sales have been increasing, our median sale prices have dropped, though slightly. In 2010 to 2011, the median price dropped by 6%, and in 2012, it dropped by about 3.4%. Now, part of that you need to look at is, if you remember the statistic I showed you before, that there was a 50% growth in the sales under 120000 we may be seeing in the very uh, next few months some increases in housing prices. The last graph I'm going to show you is an area of housing affordability. And what this graph shows you is that we have grown uh, in the past years from uh, 216 uh, housing affordability index to 235 to 256. You may wonder, well, why has that happened? Two things that have happened is, number one, the prices on properties have remained very affordable, and as you saw in that last graph, they've continued to drop slightly. The other thing is that we're at record 60-year low interest rates in the high 3%, 3%. If you're thinking of buying real estate and wondering when is the market going to turn, I think these statistics are showing you that the market has turned. Make it a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.